हेलो व्यूअर्स तो आज काफी दिनों बाद आपसे बात हो रही है इन बिटवीन अटल बट गैप बट समाइम्स इट इज रिक्वायर्ड तो जो लोग मुझे अब तक सुनते आए वो तो जानते ही हैं कि हम रिसर्च की बात करते हैं एंड दोज मे बी हु विल बी लिसनिंग मी टू द फर्स्ट टाइम विल रियलाइज दैट हाउ कम द रिसर्च इज बींग इन टू योर लाइफ एंड हाउ कम द रिसर्च लर्निंग इज लिटल बट इजी विथ मी so i hope you all recollect what so far we have learned about the research the fundamentals of research the types of research research design and lot more about the research other than research but related to research so today we will be not taking up any presentation with me but a very simple thing for the beginners i would like to share with my this video yes the topic of this video is how to read a research paper just recall my earlier videos on literature review where i have explained about how to write an effective literature review and what are the steps of doing literature review in that i explained about the literature review in a brief and detailed manner today this short video will tell you about the reading of a research paper just recall that time when you go to your guide or when you go to your mentor and you ask that okay how i start my literature review then the all that stereotype answers you will get that go to uh, the good journals download research papers and all that stuff but no one have a time to tell you how to read it and for you as a beginner it is little bit critical and tough isn't it because you don't know how to read it and when we don't know something and when we don't know about the steps we get little bit bored and agitated and we stop the things there so with my this video i am sure that you will be learning the key steps of how to read the research paper and very soon you will be realizing it that this is a very interesting exercise because in research the literature review or reading out a lot of content related to your research area is the first and the prime most step of starting your research work that is the base so we cannot escape out of it so just take the key points from my this video and always remember whenever you watch my video take a pen and paper with you because it's very easy to listen things and forget things even if you are watching it in video also so please take down those uh, points just now only if you have not taken out the paper pen do it right now and just pen down because once we write the things we don't forget it so the first thing whenever you download research paper related to your area uh, uh, from any uh, kind of source like uh, e resources and uh, the varieties of journals we have databases we have you first download uh, the research papers related to your area related to your subject matter and like the one the research you want to explore once you download it and let's suppose you have downloaded 10 papers you will obviously looking it by one by one and once you start were opening that research paper i'm just taking up the very tiny tiny steps which you'll take so you just open the research paper you will see the paper comes in front of you and that will getting the abstract then keywords and then introduction objective sometimes the objectives are there sometimes it is not there specifically methodology other body copy of the paper conclusion and at the last references when we see a, lo a long paper sometimes maybe the papers length is 6 7 pages or maybe sometimes more than that 10 12 15 maybe so once you see that big long paper you think oh this much i have to read how should i go about it so don't worry the first thing is that you read the abstract once you read the abstract which is the summary of that entire research paper it will give you an idea about that how much this paper is relevant to your subject area and how much it is important for you So the first thing is the first step remember in your mind read abstract but don't go for shortcuts okay read the abstract to understand that what the paper wants to convey it will give you an idea that what the paper is all about the title also says you sometimes but sometimes the title may not give you the real picture so that abstract will give you okay i hope you are writing it down so please write down the first thing is that you will be reading the abstract once that abstract you will go through the abstract you will understand its importance you will be categorizing it parallelly there is 
Mendeley software is there which will help you in that way that you will flag the papers, you will keep all your papers in that depository. So I'm not uh, giving a lot of details about the software, maybe my viewers must be using it right now, but those who are not using it, explore it. There are a lot of other softwares which help you to do a comprehensive literature review. So you read the abstract and once you read it, then flag it. Further. Just for the beginning, please skip the background part, but you just go for looking the objective part of that research paper. Now, when we start writing the synopsis or when we are trying to formulate the construct in our mind, we want to look for the what are the objectives other research researchers are looking for in your area. So, please go for the objective part in your research paper and read out the objectives. Initially, 8-10 papers. Like here you may have a uh, maybe a thought in your mind and once you will go through some, some research papers you may not have the specific objective as a heading but that may be in between the, uh, the body copy. So that you have to locate that where the objective of the paper is written. So please pen down or please just focus on those objective part and highlight that. Once you go for the objective part, flag it that these are all the objectives you like or these are the, all of the objectives you are looking for and then make a group of the objectives. It will help you to frame your own research objectives later on once you will be finalizing your synopsis. And you can flag on that yes, these are the papers in which I found my objectives relevant to the my area. The second step. The further step is yes, because as a beginner, it is very tough. If I'll share my point of view or my time, I was not understanding the methodology part when I was reading my review at doing my research. It was a little bit critical because methodology is changing very frequently and it is not always very, uh, you can say, easy for all to learn all the methodologies at one time and time is changing. So that's why if some new methodology is coming up in research papers and you are seeing repeated methodology in your research area, maybe if you read 8-10 papers and you are watching that all the 8-10 uh, papers having some similar kind of methodology, then understand that this kind of methodology is much more applicable when we do research in this particular area. So then you flag the research papers according to the methodology. So this is how you have to group it. So the first step is to read the abstract, the other step is read the objectives, then you see the methodology part and once you read all these things in the paper then you may go for the entire content of the research paper to understand that how the researcher have framed the entire area of related to your research. So that way you will be able to understand that what the researcher wants to convey. It will also help you to remember the name of the authors in common that this is the group of the researchers, who, those who have worked for this particular objective or this particular area with this methodology. So that grouping also helps you in future to narrate your research literature review when you go for the presentation that this is the group who have worked for this particular area. This is the group of the researchers who have worked for this particular area. All this subsequently comes in front of you. So my dear research scholars or my dear emerging researchers, this video actually wants to convey you all that when you start reading a research paper, it is not a one moment exercise or five minute exercise or ten minute exercise. Definitely it may take one day time sometimes and maybe hours time to understand a research paper. And that is very important, very important. So when you will follow all these steps, I'll quickly revise it. The first thing, you read out the abstract. To see the relevance of the paper related to your research area, there are a lot of things and maybe at the beginning you find that no, right now this is not related to, directly related to my research area but later on you may refer that so you can group it separately. So that abstract reading will help you to categorize the papers first of all. Then after, as I told you, go for the objective side, read the objectives, see the objectives, group them. Yes, that tabulated form is there in my earlier literature review that you can also refer. The next part is to see the methodology part and that you can refer on the second side when you will be deciding the methodology of your research paper and at the last you can go for the referring the entire content you may read you go for the reading of the entire content of the research paper which you are uh, reviewing finally to have an understanding that how the researchers are drafting the research paper related to your area so this reading video will help you to understand or rather will help you to do this exercise in a very fun frolic manner because reading out the research and especially some someone else research at the initial stage is little bit 
uh, you can say troublesome exercise and we lose our interest and that's why our emerging research scholars is not that much well acquainted with the research reviews but as i told you in the very beginning that we cannot escape out of this exercise even if uh, at the last i would like to give an example of my own research that even if today someone asks me that what research papers i have reviewed i still remember some uh, researchers name like i can say pharma and gibbons who have done some stock studies in the year 1985 so having this kind of reviews in your mind is actually is the outcome then you have gone through your research work your research reviews thoroughly with an interesting approach and you have penned down the key points so all my dear research scholars wish you all the best for your research work and i hope this video will help you to start reviewing your research paper start reading your research paper with a very interesting approach if you have any query as i always say just post me on learnwithharmony@gmail.com or also you can put up your query in the comment box if you have liked this video please do watch share like and subscribe thank you